a television camera right in front of his fence. That's something Janu does not like at all. He's one of six males in the lion reserve near Addis Ababa. We've come to Ethiopia to learn about lions and to investigate a sensational report about them, we drive 12 hours southwest from the capital. Many people consider the cloud forest of Kaffa one of the most beautiful places in Ethiopia. About a dozen wild lions are said to live here in a UNESCO biosphere reserve with a surface area the size of Berlin. Three years ago, Asayat Haila got much closer to a lion than she'd have liked. A hungry lioness found her way through a hole in the back of her hut in the middle of the night and attacked two goats. Then, Asayat says, the lion got into the family's bed. We always sleep in the same room with our animals. It was pitch black, and at first I didn't know what was going on. Then the lion attacked me. You can see the scars on my face and head. I didn't realize what was happening until I felt its claws and heard it growling. Asayat was very lucky. The lioness only wounded her slightly and then left her alone. Her husband said the lioness stayed in the hut for two hours, ate one of the goats, and then disappeared. NABU, the Nature and Biodiversity Conservation Union, has its offices in Banga, the region's capital, Lion Central, so to speak. In 2011, NABU first documented lions in the mountain rainforest of Kaffa. The report of lions in a non-savanna area caused a scientific sensation. Several studies are being carried out on when and why lions settled in Kaffa. In addition, NABU has set up a fund. The office head, Mesfin Tekla, says the fund compensates farmers whose livestock has been killed by lions. Lions are one of the biodiversity component. It has importance because it, it completes the food web chain which existed in this area. It balances also the wildlife uh, population. Lions and humans coexist in Kaffa. The area's spiritual leader, Ibn Agoro Imamo, explains that it would be out of the question to drive the lions away, let alone shoot them. He's a descendant of a royal family of the former kingdom of Kaffa. People in the region listen to what he has to say. For us, the lion is the king. Here, as in the entire country, he symbolizes royalty. People see their old kings in him and honor him. That goes back many generations. When a lion dies, we treat him as if a person had died. He tells us that a few years ago, when a lion was about to attack animals from the village, he prayed to his ancestors, and the lion died. The villagers then dug a hole in this meadow, covered the lion with traditional clothing, and buried it. Since then, its grave has been considered sacred.